Hi everyone, today we are going to be colouring this little cute um, scene from um, Johanna's 30 Days of Creativity. This is the page with all of the uh, little sea scenes on it and I have been looking forward to doing this page for ages. Um, it's too far through the book in my opinion. <laughs> I just really want to do it. Now I've seen some of these done absolutely brilliantly already on um, Instagram and pages. I think Colour Bright Bex did a really lovely starfish and Johanna herself did one of the fish. So um, I'm trying to, I picked this one, but this is the first one. I haven't seen it done. So I thought it would be fun to do one that I haven't actually seen. Now, because it's such a small picture, I've picked my Stedler Ergosofts um, for this one because um, they can get more easily into all these little spaces. So I'm going to start with my number 35. Sorry, that's blurred. There we go. And I'm going to do the, the water. I'm going to start by just doing a light um, layer and then we'll see from there what I might decide to do. I haven't really thought through what I'm doing with this page yet. I, uh, with this particular one, I mean. I uh, just thought I'd get going. I was excited to start. I think um, I've done a couple of days where it's been a drawing page or a doodle page. And although I coloured yesterday's, which was hearts, it's rather nice to have a page where I've got permission to just colour. And I don't have to feel like I'm cheating by, uh, not, by not doing the doodles or whatever. So it's really nice to just chill and colour. Um, I do want to embrace the book and respect Johanna and, uh, you know, have a go, um, which I've tried to do. But uh, I do enjoy colouring more. And as she says, I think she uses this phrase like you don't want to be swimming through a tree or something i don't it's not a phrase that i'm familiar with but you know if it's not feeling if you're not feeling it then don't do it you know and that's why i've tried to find some sort of easy workarounds both for my own benefit because i still want to find the book fun and look forward to doing it and uh and uh i want to uh make sure that uh, that it's not too tricky for anybody else so I really hope you can't hear the music that I can hear because uh, I'm not allowed to have it in the background and it's not me that's uh, that's doing it so anyway I'm going to try and keep talking so that it sort of cancels it out a little bit and uh, and hope that it can't be heard I think it's actually an old song that probably hasn't got a copyright on it anyway but uh, I'm not allowed to uh, do that but anyway I hope everyone is well and uh, in enjoying the new book if you've got it of course now what I'm going to do now I've nearly finished I'm just trying to find the uh, uh, what's going on here that goes through there that goes down there this one goes down here this one what is this what's going on in here ah that is there so that's a bit of C I think that's right what I'm going to try and do is make it a little bit darker on the edge of the circle I think naturally it would actually be darker on the mid in the middle because we, we would sort of be getting deeper into the water but uh, I'm going to uh, to uh, do it this way because it's easier for me I find it easier anyway so uh, we'll see what happens and how it looks so I'm just going over with another layer really and then trying to do a bit more on the outside and a bit less towards the middle. So here we go. I feel like I'm rushing, but uh, I want to get on and do all these little details because they're cute and fun. Now I'm often tempted to do fish in an orange, like a goldfish. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to use a different colour. I'm thinking, what should we do with these little fish? Should we do them purple? Let's do them purple and pink. Let's grab these two. We've got these two here. So we've got the um, 61 and the 6. And what we'll do is we start with the 6 and do it at the bottom. And I'm doing a hard layer. And then I'm going to lighten it towards the top of the fish. I'm going to cover the whole fish in this colour though. The tail, I'm going to do a lighter version just for something a little bit different. Try and do something a bit different with you 
you don't always want to see me doing the same things. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the 61. We'll start with the tails. So we want just a light layer all over like that. Now the joy with the Stedlers is that they blend beautifully. So we can just layer it on top and we should find that it blends in. There we go. So I'm putting more layers at the top where I've got less of the purple and then fading it towards the middle like that. Now these bits here I'm going to do in a green. So I'm going to grab my number five and do all of these. But what I'm going to do is try and do them a little bit darker at the bottom by putting more layers. And as I go up, doing less and less layers so that the tip is lighter. Can you see? And the same here, we've got a bit down there and a bit down here. I'm going to go up here and lighten as we go. And here, so more layers. You can see I'm going over and over. And then as I go here, it's just one layer. And the same here, a bit darker here. And less as I go to the tip. There we go. And I'm also going to do these bits the same, I think. So darker here, lighter here, darker here. And there we go. I can see where I've missed a little bit with the blue in here. So I'm just going to go over that a little bit too. Just, oh, there, I completely missed that bit. There we go. And I'm going to use my light green. Um, this is the number 50 to uh, go down from the top. So it's the opposite, really. So we put more layers in the tip and then reduce it as we go down. And it just, oh, I snapped that. I sharpened this one just before. And obviously the point was too sharp for me to cope with. I used my um, um, Derwent Rotary, I think it's what's called Mini Point or something, sharpener for that. Okay, we have now got this bit of corally piece over here. Now I rather like I'm doing it in these two colours. Okay, so we've got number 49 and number 16. So I'm going to start with the 49. Start at the bottom. Get darker colour here in. And fade it towards the tips of the bits and whatever these are. Leaves? I don't know. Like that. It's really quite straightforward. Like that. And then get the um, number 16 and do, it's the same as the leaves, go over the tips with this one and uh, fill it all in. Nice and simple. So uh, we can uh, get all that one filled in in a really nice bright colour. I don't know what colour, whether this is coral seaweed maybe? or a plant or not but I think it's nice to have some different colours in the picture why you know it could be bright and cheery under the sea okay there's that one now we've got stones and shells now I rather like the number 25 yes I'm just checking for um for shells so I'm just going to do a light layer of this all over this shell. This is like a conch, isn't it? I think they call them. Um, I don't know what colour they should be, but this is a really pretty pink colour. So I'm just using it anyway because I like it. Now I'm thinking about where we're going to put a harder layer. I'm not going to um, do more than one colour here because there isn't really a... Um, one that sort of matches in apart from red. I don't really want to go all the way to red. So what I'm doing is I'm using Johanna's lines to give me some guidance and also these 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 stripy lines to do a little bit darker and then sort of underneath each layer here where there would probably be some shadow like that. And this bit I'm wondering if that's the inside. So I'm going to do that bit darker too. I don't want to do anything too dark. I'm not going to do a black or anything like that because I think it'd just be a bit too much. I want it to look really pretty because I love that colour. 
so I'm just going to leave it there. Now we have these three shells. I'm going to do them all the same and I'm going to do some orange here. I'm just thinking let's just vary the colours and do it quite bright and cheery. So number four. So here I'm just going to do an even layer. They're quite small. I don't know whether we need to think about light and shade too much. I want to make sure we've got enough orange here so that it stands out from that um, CBD corally thing that we did. That's my new official name for it, CBD coral. <laughs> I don't know what it is. There we go. These are limpets, are they, do you think? No, they're really small, aren't they? I don't know. Now we have these ones at the bottom. I think I'm going to just do them in a brown. Um, I'm picking my number 77 just because I've got a 76, I think, and it needs sharpening. So I'm using the 77. It's a really good reason, isn't it? So what I do with stones is around the edge, lots and lots and lots, and then gently bring that in and make it very pale in the middle. So a lot more layers on the outside and then less towards the centre. So there we go. So keep going around and it's lots of fun. You could do these grey and you could do them different colours if you wanted. It takes a lot longer if you keep chopping and changing colour but it can look really really pretty. So it's sort of up to you now. Is that a sea anemone or a rock? I'm going to colour it as a rock. You could... Uh, I don't know if sea anemones are those round ones or not or whether they've got more petally type features going on. Now in these gaps I'm going to do a bit of brown as well because there wouldn't be nothing. It could be blue like the in water or it could be brown like there's a rocks behind. I think there's more like to be rocks behind. Right, let's go around this one. So I'm so pleased that I've been able to start this page and I can have a go at all these little ones. I'm not sure whether I'll do any more for you or not. It sort of depends on on, on what, how well I get on with the next page and how ahead I get with the videos, really. There's definitely going to be more than 30 from this book because I've done some for you on pages that aren't um, the, the sort of main 30-day pages, if that makes sense. Now we've got the bubbles. I'm going to do something a little bit different with these bubbles. I'm actually going to do them in a darker blue. So I'm going to do them in number 33. Um, it's not very sharp. Hopefully it'll be all right. Because they won't stand out if I leave them white. Or it'll look like I've forgotten to colour them. And if I... I want to make them look like they've got a little bit of shine. And so to do that, I need to put some dark colour on them first. And then I'm going to grab my gel pen. And I've got this 0.5 jelly roll, which is really thin, which you're going to need for this because they're tiny. I just want to put a little dot of white on each one, like that. And I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom of the fish because they're shiny. A bit on each of these. I don't know if it'll really show up. I'm just going to scribble with that because it's. Uh, I think the ends get a bit clogged with the wax from the pencils. A little bit down there. You can't really see this that much, but I'm going to do a bit on each of these. Sometimes a few bits of white can make a bit of a difference on your picture. There we go. I'm going to leave that now. I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore. So there we, uh, there we go, that's that one. Thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.